In this video, we are going to talk about top 10 delicious breakfast. So before starting this video, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for the future updates. All experts believe that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. And there's no time when it's more crucial than during the school year. Breakfast eating children do better in school. These recipes will make your family feel more energized and stronger. Whole grains, such as oatmeal, protein-rich foods, such as eggs and dairy products, and nutrient-dense foods, such as fruits and other produce, are the best foods to serve for breakfast. Breakfast is the most critical meal of the day, and it's also one of our favorites, but it's also one of the most difficult. We have to come up with breakfast ideas before we've even had coffee, and that can seem like an impossible task. Here's a list of the top 10 delicious breakfast. Let's start. Number 10. Hamono. The word hamono in Japanese refers to a variety of dried fish items. It's generally made with smaller fish like mackerel or sardines, which are butterflied, washed, and often marinated before being sun-dried or refrigerated. The technique began as a means of preserving food for a longer shelf life. Salt was once primarily used as a preservative, but it is now primarily used as a seasoning. The fish can be dried and processed or eaten right away after being grilled and brushed with a tasty soy-based sauce. At famous izakaya eateries, hamono is usually served for breakfast, lunch, or as a late-night snack. It's normally served with soy sauce and rice. Number 9. Eggs Benedict. Eggs Benedict is a breakfast or brunch dish that consists of toasted English muffin halves topped with a ham or bacon slice, a poached egg, and hollandaise sauce. Despite the fact that there are various hypotheses about the dish's origins, the majority of people believe that Delmonico's restaurant deserves credit. Delmonico's chef, Charles Ranhofer, is said to have created the dish in the 1860s for a customer called Mrs. Legrand Benedict, who wanted to try something different. Ranhofer included the recipe in the Epicurean, a cookbook he published in 1894. Regardless of who invented them, Eggs Benedict can now be found all over the world in a variety of forms, including Eggs Mornay, Florentine, Blanchard, Hussard, and Cochon. Number 8. Utiao. Utiao, or Chinese breadsticks fried in pears and linked in the center, is one of the most common breakfast foods in China. The end result is a puffy snack with a crispy exterior and a tender interior. Utiao can be traced back to the Song Dynasty, when Qin Gui, under the influence of his wife, executed a famous general named Yu Fei. A cook made a pair of breadsticks shaped like human beings, the leader and his wife, and symbolically deep fried them in hot oil as a sign of protest. Yu Tiao was given the nickname Yu Zha Gui, which translates to deep fried ghosts. Today, the snack is normally served with hot soy milk, rice porridge, or a pork, beef, or shrimp soup. Number 7. English Breakfast. This traditional British dish, also known as the complete breakfast, appears everywhere with a few basics and some regional additions. Then there's the meat, which is normally a mix of sausages and bacon. The bacon may be streaky or back bacon, and the sausage is simple pork sausage. Then there are the vegetables and legumes, such as baked beans and tomatoes, which are both cooked in a high heat setting. The sweetness and acidity of the tomatoes counteract the fattiness on the other side of the plate beautifully. Finally, the meal is completed with a crispy piece of fried bread and two or three over easy eggs. A cup of tea, ketchup or brown sauce, and a sweet fruit jam are typically served with this hearty meal. Depending on personal taste and regional preferences, black pudding, kidneys, mushrooms, and potatoes may be added to the fry-up. Number 6. Gaufra. The most popular Belgian culinary signature is delicious and fragrant waffles. The cakes are baked in a specially crafted waffle iron, which produces an unusual checkered pattern on the top and bottom of each cake, using thick dough or thin batter. The light Brussels waffle and the denser liege waffle are the two versions of this national dessert in Belgium. The main difference is in the batter. The Brussels waffle batter is thin and runny, while the liege waffle batter is thick and brioche-like resulting in a cake with rough edges and a dense texture. Number 5. American Pancakes. A thick batter of eggs, flour, milk, and baking powder is used to make American pancakes. Fruits such as apples, strawberries, and blueberries, as well as buttermilk or chocolate chips, can be added to the batter. When served, they're normally piled on top of each other and topped with sugar, maple syrup, fruit jam, honey, whipped cream, or peanut butter, among other things. 
In the United States and Canada, American pancakes are often eaten for breakfast and they are often accompanied by fried eggs, bacon, or sausages. There are a few different types of pancakes in America, but the most common are Johnny cakes, fried cornmeal pancakes, and silver dollar pancakes, smaller than regular pancakes. Number 4. Miso soup. Miso soup is a typical Japanese soy based soup made with dashi stock, miso paste, and optional ingredients including seaweed or tofu. Although the soup is widely available at any time of day, it is estimated that more than 70% of Japanese people eat it for breakfast. Miso soup is often served as an appetizer in Japanese restaurants in the United States. Since it alkalizes the blood and revives the nervous system, the soup is believed to have medicinal properties. Miso is the main ingredient, which is made up of rice, salt, water, and fermented soybeans, and is formed into a paste that resembles peanut butter in texture. Number 3. Boric. Boric is a baked dish made of thinly spread sheets of dough made with flour, water, and salt and wrapped around a savory or sweet filling. Handmade yufka is usually brushed with butter before baking and is heartier than phyllo but thinner than a tortilla. Despite the fact that many countries have their own variations of this satisfying recipe, it was most likely conceived during the Ottoman Empire in the Anatolian provinces, which is now part of Turkey. According to some accounts, Boric is a descendant of the Eastern Roman Anatolian dish and Tyritas placuntas, which is made of layered dough filled with cheese and has a recipe dating back to 160 BC. Number 2. Churros. Churros are made of deep fried yeast dough encrusted with sugar and are elongated, crispy, crunchy, and intensely fragrant. Despite the fact that some might argue against eating these sweet snacks, warning others about the harmful effects of sugar and fat on human bodies, Churros' popularity does not seem to be waning around the world. Invented by Spanish shepherds who could easily cook them in a pan over an open fire, these oddly shaped, cinnamon sugar sprinkled twists are now most commonly eaten as a hot breakfast food in Spain and Latin America, served with a good cup of coffee or a cup of thick hot chocolate. Number 1. Croissant. Pure butter and a slightly sweet yeast dough are the perfect ingredients for these flaky, golden colored crescent shaped pastries. When removed from the center, the yellow white interior should be slightly elastic, ready to be filled with a pad of butter or some fresh jam if made properly. The croissant was strongly inspired by Austrian Kipfels, according to experts. This pastry was created in 1683 to commemorate Austria's victory over the Ottoman Empire, and its shape is said to resemble the crescent moon on the Turkish flag. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.